guys, hi, it's Sunnies. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. It's day back again with a video for y'all. So, did you guys miss me? Cause I missed y'all. Yeah, so my girl Simone is about to come over and we're about to have a cute little spooky night in. She has some things she wants to update me on and I'm super excited. I haven't seen her in like a month or so. So, I'm excited to sit down with her and just catch up. I'm cooking right now. The chicken is in the oven, but I wanna do like a quick little 30 minute face so I can feel cute while we're drinking and vibing and having a cute little spooky night together. So I wanna make like a little drinky drink, just a little bit of red wine to get the vibes going um, so I can feel nice and do a little bit of a face. Literally just a small face, like a 30 minute type of look is what I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and make that drink and let's get started. <music> just to get the vibes going but let's go ahead and get started because um before you know it it's gonna be time for her to be here and like i said i have other stuff to do but i did want to do like a 30 minute face so starting with the elf primer i've been loving this primer it's very like tacky and i feel like the makeup just really sticks really good so i'm just gonna spread that evenly all over the face and i told you guys before but i'll tell you again don't rub it in just kind of like put a thin layer on your face. You don't want to rub it in like lotion. You want it to kind of sit all shiny like, like that. With that type of consistency. I'm trying to figure out what spooky movie I want to put on. I feel like the obvious answer is Hocus Pocus, but I don't know if I want to restart my Disney um, subscription just for literally one night. Um, so I'm gonna see what's on Hulu or Netflix, but I need like a good classic like Halloween movie um, To really just set the vibes off But we shall see when it's that time I'm really just trying to focus on hurry up and get ready so that I can finish setting up like the stuff Okay, so after the primer is on we're gonna use this elf halo glow liquid filter foundation like this and yeah, we're gonna use some of this. Yeah, tonight's gonna be so cute. I haven't seen her in a while. I haven't seen anybody really up in a like hibernation mode, isolation mode. Um, so it's gonna be nice to get some human interaction that's not like work related. Cause literally that's the only time I talk to people. <laughs> it's like work. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to see my girl and I'm going to set up some pumpkin painting for us while she like tells me all the tea i'm gonna set up the table with um pumpkin painting and then i'm making tacos too and then i got some tequila as well for us to drink and then i have wine of course um to drink so i don't know what type of time she's gonna be on today but we have options we always have options in this household um so yeah i might drink wine now and then switch over to tequila later tonight we'll see how the vibes are going but as you can see i'm literally just pressing this in all right so after i do that and kind of just get like a basic um foundation for the skin i'm going to go ahead and do my under eyes with tart Alright, so next I'm going to put some powder on and this is the Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to put that in the T-zone and then get ready to contour. It looks like this. I love it. Okay. 
flawless baking. I kind of want to hit my brows a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna take my brow gel. Y'all know I love my brow gel. But yeah, I'm gonna take my brow gel and just put my eyebrows up. Like so, like that. Look at the difference. That's crazy. I love brow gel. Give it up for the brow gel. Okay, so now that the brows, now that the brows look like this, we're gonna go ahead and go in with some brow pomade. And I really just wanna like thicken them up a little, very much a little bit. There's just some areas that I feel like need a little, a little feathering or something. Okay, so under eyebrows look like this, and I'm about to blend it out. But we just cleaned them up. Okay, so after all of this, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of contour to bring some color and some depth back to my face because it looks very much ghastly, very much white right now. I mean, I guess we're on theme for the spooky vibes because it's definitely getting ghostly and ghastly. There is not a single question of what I use for contour. It is the Coconati. I've been on Coconati real, real, real bad, like real bad for like a year. So there is not a single question as to what I'm using to contour because Coconati, Coconati, Coconati. And I'm gonna go in. Pretty, pretty heavy. So that I can do this. And I like to bring my up, like going up the face. So same side, I mean, other side. Wow, is that the one talking? Yeah, other side, we're gonna need the same thing. I'm trying to put some in the front. Yeah, I love to put some on my forehead, really just because my forehead's huge and I feel like it helps it minimize, but it really just makes the makeup look come together because it has like dimension now. And so lastly, I'm just gonna take the other side of the brush, the smaller side, and I like to do right here on my nose and drag it up. All right, so now I'm gonna go on with my eyes to make them pop. All right, so next I wanna play with a little bit of color and I wanna hit my eyes with a lavender color, kinda like the jumpsuit I'm wearing. So I just wanna like a dash of color. So I'm gonna take this color right here. Just gonna go in. I feel like it's barely on there. Okay, so this is how we're looking so far. Very cute, very subtle. I feel like it's subtle, but it's definitely like a pop, obviously, but it's not too purple. Like, I don't, I can't explain it, but it's not too crazy. 
All right, so next, I think I'm gonna put some lashes on. So I'm going to do my eyeliner um, to prepare for the lashes. I'm about to get ready to put glue on the lashes and I'm about to figure out what color I want to put on my cheeks. I'm feeling cute. Feeling cute, feeling cute, yeah. Okay, so I'm picking from some old lashes because I don't really see the point in like putting on new ones um, since I'm technically not going anywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put on some old lashes. And this is me literally taking the glue off very much ghetto, but it is what it is. <laughs> on the lash all right so while i have the lashes drying i want to add some gems y'all know me i'm so extra but yeah i want to add some gems because like why not like i said i'm not going anywhere so i feel like i feel like that gives me the perfect opportunity to be creative and have some fun i just feel like when you have somewhere to go or like when you're specifically doing your makeup for something you don't get to really have like as much fun all right, so the gym, I think I just want it like literally right under the eye. I don't know, should I keep it at one or should I do three of them? Like, and so the other one. So that's just one. I don't know, I think I'm gonna do three because I'm just so extra. Don't care. All right, so next is time for the lips. I don't know what else to do besides nude, so nude it is. I was actually just gonna do like brown and nude, but I think I wanna try Mob Wives cause it's such a fun, cute look. So. Mob Wives, and then I feel like I need like a little bit of this. Like a little. All right, so I had to like re-glue down the inner corner of my lash, but I'm moving on to blush because that's like the last thing I really have to do for this look. Um, I'm gonna use this one because I just haven't used it and I feel like that's the one that I wanna use today, so. I don't know, it's more like reddish than it is like dark. I thought it was gonna be like on the darker side. It's kind of like more red. I hate when you get done with a look and then your inner corner just starts watering. Like, I hate it, I hate it. Like, look at this, you're ruining my look. So disrespectful. I might be falling deep. I might be falling deep. I might be falling deep. Falling deep. Okay, baby, so this is the final look. This eye is kind of off because it's been like watering and the lash wasn't really sticking, so it's a little off, but 
This is the look for the 30 minute phase. It took like 30, 45 minutes because of the recording, but yeah, this is the phase with the rhinestones. It's super cute, I love it. I feel like a crystal ball, like a fortune teller, like that type of crystal ball. And it's definitely giving the vibes. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this quick little makeup video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little freestyle type of video. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you turn that post notification bell on. So the next time I drop another video, it might be a makeup video. Who knows? You'll be notified. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video.